Uh, can you walk us through, Keith, what did you see, what did you hear? Yeah, sure. First of all, I had been down in the square earlier, and there were easily a couple of thousand of, uh, people there, probably more, uh, lighting candles. Some were singing songs. They'd been there for hours. I returned to my hotel room, which looked over the square, and it's on the first floor, so I was very close to it. And I was writing my story, when suddenly I heard people rushing and screaming past my window. So I opened the window uh, and saw that people were panicking, and it was at that moment that I heard what sounded like uh, they could have been gunshots. It's now been reported that they were uh, firecrackers, but obviously... You know, you can't tell the difference between the two of those when you're just listening and you're already in a heightened state of, of uh, concern about these things. So that started another wave of people rushing across the square trying to get out of the way. And then that slacked off a bit, and then there was a third wave of people rushing to try to get out of the square. So, you know, one may have fed off the other, fed off the other, I don't know, but it does appear that someone thought it was a clever idea to set off some firecrackers and see if they could scare people, and they panicked. Yeah, and it seems like the police there panicked as well, guns drawn, as I mentioned. What does it say about the mood in Paris right now? Well, obviously, people are going to be on edge. What happened on Friday night is still way too fresh in people's minds. And where this square is lies just between uh, the concert hall, where most of the people were killed, and the area where the restaurants are, where fewer people were killed, but which was a much more intimate part of the neighborhood. Um, so people's feelings would be uh, elevated by that. But I wouldn't want to say that they're walking around in a mood of panic and fear. In fact, they're quite defiantly not doing that. People that I spoke to were, were first and foremost making the point that they're not going to be frightened out of their neighborhood, that it's important for them to be in the streets, and they know that, that they're going to take back the streets simply by their presence in them tonight. So, yes, people are going to be on edge, and yes, they're going to react in the way they did if they think a further shooting has just happened. But by and large, people want to be out in the streets tonight. They want to show that they still own their city. Thanks for clearing things up with us, Keith. Thank you. The CBC's Keith Bogue in Paris.